Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, people. Hello. How are you doing today? Great. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. After after a nice long weekend. No, not long weekend, right? But very nice. Okay, today we're going For to me have. It was very, very uh, weekend. Long weekend. Already? Why? Yes, because uh, I didn't work Friday. Oh, okay, that's good. That was nice too. And why did yeah. why didn't you work on Friday? Because I made a many hours, and my boss give me a compensa compensation. Okay. Hey, that's that's good. Yes. Okay. Uh, where where do you work? I need to work there. <laughs> okay. Is yeah. No, but it's good. You know, it's good when. After you know you work uh, a lot during a week, yes. Right? And then you can have some time off, right? Yes, yeah. and and I I passed with my wife because she was uh, on birthday. Oh, even better! It was her birthday. Yes, on Friday. Yes. So, nice. uh -huh. so we 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 pay we passed. Very, we very we spend we spend we spend very a nice good time. A, a, a good time a very good time yes hey that's great oh sounds sounds like the perfect weekend exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay very good that was nice okay so what about the rest everybody coming in everybody moving in moving in Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Yeah. Always warm. Always? Uh, hot and warm. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, I don't know. It's, the way it's, it's humid, right? Sometimes yes. I, I think it's it's the second week in the project. We are in... ¿cómo se dice? We are on strike. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Is it, really? Is it true or just? Yes, okay. but uh, 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 there will be. There was a negotiation, and is 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 good for the the enterprise and, and good for we you continue too. Continue the next the next week. Okay, so this week you're not going to work. No, we are we stay in the project, but. Uh, the activities uh, is, is are is stopped. Not a stop, but uh, the, the the workers are a few a few workers. A few workers, okay. So they not everybody is uh, at the project. Not everybody, okay. only a sector, only a, a few group. Okay, yes, a uh, a few. Uh, let's say a uh, let's say a uh, low percentage. Hello. Just, Hello. just the just, just one. <laughs> the just as yes. one. Uh, yeah, just, just a bit, just the big ones, right? Just the big ones. Just the few ones. Okay, good. All right, good. So this is, you know, things that happen, right? And they say that the well, in probably this week will it start raining more, right? Tomorrow. They say that Wednesday or. Yes, Tuesday or Wednesday will start raining. Okay, it's another hurricane season. So the, the storms and rain will begin. And this affects a lot of projects too, right? So hopefully, right. okay, nothing much is going to happen. Okay, good. Eugene, hello. Hello, How are teacher. You? How are you today? I'm fine. I'm okay. Really fine. <laughs> All right, great. Yes. You know, Anna. Anna, hello, Anna Guerra. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. Anna Guerra, just the last name because, you know, she's very peaceful. 
¿Ah? Dios mío, teacher. <risa> solo, solo el apellido es de guerra, porque soy bien pacífica. ¿no? It's very, it looks very peaceful. Yes, really. <risa> so you are Anna Totalmente. Peaceful. Yes, Anna peaceful. No, okay, no war. Okay, great. Okay, so then remember that today, uh, last, uh, last Thursday, we were studying and we were practicing with activities that we are doing in the moment, right? Like, what are you doing? Yes. Okay, and what are the, the let's say, the, what is the structure, okay, that we have to follow when we are using the, the ING form? Uh, for example, we use the verb to be, I am, Okay, um, I am, and then the verb plus the ing form. Okay, I am working, okay, in this moment. I am sitting, and I am listening. I am speaking, okay. So the things that we are doing. Also, uh, we can use it to, to express ideas, right? of activities that are happening these days, okay? For example, we say, I am studying English from Monday through Thursday. I am studying English this month, okay? For example, you say, uh, we are finishing, we are finishing this course for this level, when? This week, okay? After today, we only have three more classes, okay? So we're finishing these classes this week, okay? We're finishing this course this week. Uh, Teacher. Yes, sir. I was watching uh, the link uh -huh. when, uh, where, where we in, in, introduced here in, in, the, in Zoom, and there, say, 14, June 14, we have a, a, a meeting. A meeting? Ah, oh, no, yes. The, the thing is that, for example, they use it for, uh, that is like the the date they have for INSA Forb and stuff like that. But actually, okay. they, now they, well, it has changed a little bit because before we finish exactly on Thursday, Mm -hmm. Thursday was the last day to, to do the exam, to do the test, and then you have some chances to, to present the test the next day or the weekend, okay? But now they are requesting, if you see, I think they send it to the, to the WhatsApp group too, that on mm -hmm. Wednesday we have to finish the exam. Mm -hmm. And on Thursday, the last day of classes, we have to make a review and do all our practice and other exercises. No. Okay, so, but it's because uh, if we finish like that, then the next course is going to start a little bit faster because uh, mm -hmm. with the, before, sometimes you have to wait like two weeks, three weeks, sometimes one month to be yes. this level. And now I think that is only more or less one week. So this was it's benefit for, for you and, and for, for everybody, right? Oh, okay. Because it's, okay. uh, you only wait if you if we finish faster and we present all the papers faster, then INSA4 approves the next levels. You know, also in a faster way. So that's the that's why. Yes, so they always have, have like two three days. Just, just today. Day. Just. We have just today to present our papers and well, I, I did it. I did in in on weekend. I did all the, the exams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I, mm -hmm. that, that, that's better, yes. And then, uh, no, but we have this week to finish, exactly, right? So we have uh, the latest on Wednesday, Thursday, and then we have everything set, academically okay. speaking, right? Then administrative okay. is another thing. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome, good. Okay, so then uh, we're going to see, I guess there is a video you know, to get more information about the, uh, about the present continuous with Miss Jessica here. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. 
Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in our discussion box. Okay. Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, they're not. Okay, this is the part where we have the, all the information, right? So I want you to take a look at it and see, for example, the yes, no question, the information question, okay? Where are you working now? The short answer, affirmative, short answer, negative. Uh, then you have the information question, then you have a negative answer, and then a compliment, and then you have an affirmative answer. Okay. I don't know if you have everything is clear or if you have any questions about it. No problem? No problem. Okay. Okay, good. Now what you're going to do is this. Now I want you to write on a piece of paper or in the computer. Okay, some things that other people in your house are doing in this moment. Okay, uh, for example, you can use, okay, my, oh, my daughter is doing her homework, her homework, okay, you can say my son is uh, cleaning his computer, Okay, you can say, I don't know, my my sister in
handle is watching um so the opera what else uh, my dog is running in the garden. Okay. Uh, we can also say the cat is chasing a mouse. Okay, so there you have, for example, things that other people are doing, okay, people that probably you can see in the uh, in your house. Okay, right, then we can use this ones and tell your sentence. Okay, so then you're going to tell me sentences, one or two sentences, about people that you see around you, okay? But verbally, okay, orally. And then we have this other activities. Okay, yes. Okay, my daughter is on doing her presentation for her online class, yes. That's correct, my son is playing video games. Okay, Eugenia, good. My parents are watching TV in the living room. Perfect, exactly, that's, that's one, uh-huh. Good. Okay, this is uh -huh. getting, getting, you know, getting loud. No, getting some noise. Making. Making some noise. Making some noise, okay. Uh, what is the sound that dogs make? Orf. What are, bark. <laughs> bark. Uh -huh, bark. yes, or, or, uh, it's bark. Uh, my dog is barking. Okay, we can use that one, okay. You know that, for example, eh, in Spanish, ¿cómo le hacen los perros? ¿Cómo ladran? Woof. Okay, ahí se oye son. ¿Cómo, cómo lo digo? Woof. Woof. ¿En inglés? ¿Cómo ladran en inglés? No, así hacen los osos, ¿verdad? Woof. No, de veras, de veras. The same song. ¿Ah? It's the same. Booking, booking, Google it. Busquen el sonido manocomatopeico de un perro en or, or. Dice uh, que en fonética se estudia que, por ejemplo, en español se dice que se dice wow, wow, right? Wow, wow, wow. Pero en inglés se ve como or, or. Y en, los, en las caricaturas aparece así. Or, or. Entonces es como cada eh, Cada persona nativa de ciertos idiomas, esto es como ellos escuchan los sonidos también. Ok. But for us, it's like that. There is a difference. It's chistoso, but true. Ajá, uh -huh, bar, bar, something like that. Ok, good. Excellent. What else? Continue. More sentences. Mom is talking on the phone now. Mom is talking on the phone now. Excellent. Mom is talking. My mother in law and my sister in law are doing the dinner. Are making dinner. Okay. Can we go to your house, Andrea? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody. We are invited to Andrea's house and have dinner. Where? Where? Okay. <laughs> we are. Um, we are have. Uh, oh my god, now forget it. Yes, where is it? Where is it? Tell us, we move. <laughs> you know, we go everywhere for some pupusas, right? Yes, yeah, that's good. Excellent. What else? Okay, another sentence. My wife is taking or having her English class, class online. Okay, that's good. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Okay, great. So you're having your class and she's having her uh, her class too. 
Yes, she's in there. Okay, good. We're both having a class now. It's online. Good. Perfect. What else? My Excellent. friend is coming to visit me tomorrow. Okay, my friend is coming to visit me tomorrow. Okay, good. That the time expression is very important, right? Because she's coming is something that, but it says it says tomorrow, right? Then you can say my friend is coming to visit me right now. That changes the moment, right? But the sentence is correct, no problem. Thank you, Henia. Who else? Another one. My nephew is jumping, jumping, jumping on the bed. Jumping on the bed. <laughs> Jumping like a little rabbit everywhere. Okay. How, how old is he? Anna, how old is your nephew? Uh, I don't understand. How old? Uh, six, seven, five years old. How old uh, is he? Uh -huh. is, is, is only example. Ah, okay. Yeah, say, Not really. He's I mean, 15 years old and I'm jumping. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, the, uh, uh, he, he, como el tiene? he has, he has, um, he has, has, oh, okay, he is 20, uh -huh. he is then, he huh? is 22 years old. 22 years old. Ah, todavía, <laughs> hay que salte en la cama. Good, no <laughs> 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 jumps everywhere. Okay, good. Hilda, how about you? What a sentence about some people around you? Me, teacher. I yes. don't hear yes. you. Yes, Hilda. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, my mom is sleeping, my nephew. Okay. And my dog is playing with his ball. Okay, good. That's nice. <laughs> He's entertained. Good. Yes, very entertained. All right, good. Ana, Rebecca? My mother is asleep. My father is working on the computer. And my sister is cooking dinner. Okay, good. Yes, your mother is just sleeping. Okay, great. Uh, Brian, you're quiet today. Yes, uh, my children are watching cartoons on the TV. Okay, very great. Okay, that's great, great, great. That's great. Elina. Perdón, my husband is in your English class. In his English class. Sí. Uh -huh. In his, ah, in his uh -huh. English class. Okay, my husband is in his English class. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Hey, Harold, tell me a sentence of what other people are doing around you. Did you hear me, Harold? Can you hear me? Ah, sí, 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 es que fue tres mi chocolate. <laughs> okay, share it. Yes, it's not. Okay. Cocoa. Cocoa. Great. I still have some coffee, some coffee here. Ah. Chocolate. Chocolate. Good. Okay, tell me a sentence about the people who are near you. Harold, what are they doing? Or what is your <clears throat> shoe doing? What is your father hmm. doing? Your mother doing? What is your brother doing? Or the people in your house. Uh, people in the house. Uh, my father doing um, watching TV. My father is watching TV. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Nice. No, and he and he's doing it in the moment. So that's uh, action. Perfect. Okay, people. Just yes. uh, before just uh, what time is it? Eight twenty-six. Let me take the picture for the attendance, please. I was texting. 
just trying to say I was texting with my best friend. Uh -huh. I was texting too. That's a past uh, progressive. My sister is playing volleyball. Good, Adriana. Yes, my daughter is watching videos in the tablet. Danielle, yes. My children are watching cartoons. Brian, yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, now let me take the picture. Let me fix the names and here we go. And I think we need one more. Some meat. Okay, people, thank you very much. That's it. Okay, let's continue then. Then we have uh, actions. Now we're going to move back, uh, back to the book, to the platform. Okay, so this was the video about the I and G form in Jeremy. Now, in this one, it says, uh, listen to participants who listen to a conversation between two people talking about their family's size using quantifiers. Okay, so now we're going to use, what are the benefits? Are there any benefits uh, in a big family or small family? Let's see here. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Marcos? I come from a big family. Okay. Questions about this vocabulary or expressions? Nowadays. Nowadays, in these days. Nowadays is actualmente, right? Nowadays, Actually, yes, for example, the gas is very expensive nowadays. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the thing actually is like at present, because actually it's like the age. Okay. No more questions? Look at this one, it's in past tense, right? I didn't know that. Say must, how many, uh -huh. Must, must families, yeah, must families. Most, most, the majority, the majority of the families, most families, the majority. Most families. For example, only child is when you have only, you have no brothers, no sisters, right? No brothers, um, no sisters. Um, only child. It's only, only child. Mm -hmm. Only child, correct. 
And then you have the question for plural, right? How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Okay, this is I have one brother and two sisters. They actually says I am an only child. And they say, yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays, okay? So at present in China, they, they want to have only one child. And if it is a boy, better, right? Because that's in China, okay? Now you have the conversation in the in the chat. Okay, I took the, the picture. Okay, and then we can see, for example, that if you, I don't know if you have any any other question about the vocabulary. No. In the majority. Yes, most of the families, yes. Okay, then I'm going to make a little group. Group of three, I guess. Hi, I'm sorry very much. Okay, well, it's okay. It's kind of just a little photo. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna make the groups and please practice the conversation, okay, that we have uh, in the in the picture. Three, four, let's this one. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Okay, the idea is that you practice the, the vocabulary, okay, and the pronunciation in the conversation. If, for example, you have, Es que si alguien puede compartir la imagen. En, ahí en WhatsApp está ahorita. Ah. Uh -huh. En the WhatsApp group. 
you can read it, for example, you have how many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? Then, for example, you have Marcos and May Lee. Then, uh, for example, Esmeralda Carolina, you can be Marcos and then Andrea May Lee. In the siguiente, Andrea, you are Marcos and Fatima, you are May Lee. Okay, in the next one, you are Fatima, y van haciendo como una rueda de caballitos, practicando hasta que todos practiquen la, el diálogo, okay? Eh, I don't know if you have any questions about the pronunciation. No? No. Okay. okay. There you go. ¿Quién sería Marco? Usted puede comenzar, Andrea, con Fátima. Y luego Fátima, y luego Fátima es Marcos y, y Ingrid es Meili, luego Ingrid es Marcos y Esmeralda es Meili, luego Esmeralda es Marcos y usted termina siendo Meili. Y así todos. Okay. Okay. Good. Ok, go ahead. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Two siblings. Uh, I have one sister and one brother. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Most families in El Salvador have a, somebody child. Uh, I didn't know that. What about you? What about you, uh, Brian? No, no, Brian. Uh, I I come for from uh, a big a, a big family. Uh, I have one brother and and one sister, but uh, I have more family. Eh, en este caso no sería cambiarlo, que no es big family, small family. A small right? family. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have a small family. I have uh, one brother and one sister. Yeah. Wow. Is that typical in your family? Uh, yes, yes. It's um, it's near to Chalatenango. No, really? it's far. Far. Both is both are, are north. Ah, okay. So, yes. But it's not near. Ah, okay. There is a new a new way to go to Chalatenango, no? Um, uh, the um, uh, I don't remember the the, the street. Uh, there are a roadway. Uh -huh. uh, its name is Longitudinal. Ah, Longitudinal del Norte. Yes. Yes. Hi, uh -huh. teacher. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Nice, nice conversation in English. Okay, practicing. Okay. She good. lives. Uh huh. She oh. lives in, in Ciudad Barrios. Oh really? It's a, it's a beautiful city. Yes. It yes. Is. Mm -hmm. And the weather go, is is very nice. Uh, I go to Ciudad Barrios every weekend, but uh, before pandemic, mm -hmm. after pandemic, one one a month. But um, where, where, where do you live in this moment? Here in, in San Salvador, Salvador, Salvador. for my job. Ah, okay. So you work here, so you have to move. And then on weekends, you, well, now once a month, you go back to your hometown. Sort of yes. Okay, good. Do you miss, do you miss it? Yes. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> what, what do you miss? I do. What do you miss the most? Uh, my... My nephew. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Well, what about the, the food, the weather? The weather, uh, for example, in this moment, it's raining. 
Mm -hmm. And it's cool. And there, there is a, how do you say no hay inundaciones? There, 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 there are no floods. There are no floods. There are no floods. Mm -hmm. okay. It's, it's roughly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you know, it's, in, it's high, right? The high level of uh, uh, yes, high above the sea level. That's one. Mm -hmm. Probably that's one of the reasons. Okay, good. Well, continue okay. with the practice. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Okay, all right. Um. Yeah. yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. Uh, what about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you hit lots of big birthday presents. Okay, good, good. Okay, Marcos. Ana. Ya se fue. Se nos fue Eugenia. ¿Y cómo se nos fue? Entró el teacher y se fue Eugenia. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. She's scared yeah. of me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I scare her. Eugenia is, is sharing the conversation. Oh my God. Let me see. We love the conversation in Eugenia. Where is Eugenia? No, but. Tranquila, tengo. Sorry. Okay. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. Solo te agrandale un poquito. Va. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Astrid? I I have a two a uh, one brother and one sister. Really? Yeah. Mm, yes. Yes. What about you, Elena? What about you? Uh, Hello, teacher. Hey, hello. How's everything? No problem. No questions. No, we have we have a, a practice. You practice already. Okay, good. No questions yes. about pronunciation or vocabulary. Uh, nowadays is yes, but yes. Nowadays is the pronunciation. Nowadays. Me. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 when you say typical, is typical or type? Typical. Yes. Uh, Typical. Typical. In Peru. Yes. Hello, teacher.